saved even now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't want to take more time. I want to welcome our mom and our daddy as they bring us the word this morning. Let's put our hands together. Amen. 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 Other things we will do later. Amen. 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 Why invite you next time? Hallelujah. Wana pewa sifa. Hallelujah. Tuweze kuketi. Wana ni mwema. Ame tulinda wiki mzima. Imekua wiki ya mbaraka. Tulienda ya wazo. Injili inaendelea, inasonga mbele. Na tunaziti kuwana mkono wa buwana. Hallelujah. Ingawa jua ilikuwa imewaka sana. Pumbi ni nyingi. Lakini tulifanya kasi ile mungu ame tuwaidia. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu yeye ni mwema na yeye ni mwaminifu. Tunashukuru mungu sana kwa kuwa pamoja nasi. Wapendwa kule wanaendelea vizuri. Tumeona mkono wa buwana. Hakuna moja anasema ni naumwa. Lakini tunaona ngupu za mungu zikitenda kasi. Hallelujah. Ni buwana mwema wapendwa. Tukaziti kumuishia. Nae atatushika mkono kwa kila njambo. Hallelujah. Ni asupu njema. Tunatarajia kubarikiwa siku ya leo. Wajeni tukaweze kumuombea mtumishi wa mungu. Baba katika njina la yesu. Tunasema ni asandi kwa wema wako. Na vathiri zako ambazo ni za milele mungu wetu. Tunakuinua na tunakuabudu asubu ya leo. Kwa upendo mkuu amba umetupenda nao buwana. Amba buwana mungu wetu wa mbinguni. Uliwasa kumutua mwana wako wa peke. Na kafa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Niboza siku ya leo tunasema asante. Kwa mana ametupilia pale msalabani. Na tunajua ya kwamba wako hai. Ni asante mtakatifu. Kwa mana tumepatikana mungu wetu. Pokea sifa, pokea na hata shukurani. Asante kwa kila moja wetu. Asante buwana kwa ipata ya leo. Asante kwa mtumishi wako Jehova. Haenda hapo kunena neno lako. Wacha kanena ya leo mausia yako Jehova mungu. Na sifa na utukufu zika kurudie. Wacha tukaseme baba tumebarikiwa. Kwa mana ukopa moja na asia subu ya leo. Inuliwa baba na hata upewe sifa milele. Na nikatika njina la Yesu Kristo. Tumeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Asante buwana. Amen. Give a good hand clap to my wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Tuko wazima. We are a bit tired, but we thank God for the work that is going on down in Ewasu. Ah. I didn't manage all the days. I managed to go for two days. And I thank God. Most of the homesteads we went to had been reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, yesterday, every, every homestead we went to, everyone had been reached with the gospel. So we took another tactic of ambushing those ones on the, on the, on the road, on the main road, as they come to the market, because we knew they must be coming from far. Uh, we ambushed a few and we got a few. We didn't, we didn't come empty handed. Amen. But we are saying a wasu for Jesus. Pigia Yesu Makofi Jaman. Now this is a, an important season for Christians. It's the time we remember the death, burial and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this morning I would like to share on the benefits of the cross, the benefits of cross. There are many benef benefits, but I just shall concentrate about, I'm on about four of them, and then we shall uh, take Holy Communion. Ephes Ephesians chapter one, verse seven. Ephesians chapter one, verse seven. We are talking about the, hey, low volume, please, reduce the volume. We are talking about the benefits of the cross, the benefits of the cross. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, it says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. The first and foremost benefit 
of the cross of Jesus Christ is that we have our sins forgiven. Praise the Lord, brethren. The difference between us and the people out there is that they have not been forgiven of their sins. But you and I have received forgiveness of our sins. It's interesting as we were going from house to house, preaching to people, I didn't meet one person who did not admit they're a sinner. I, I, I usually don't like taking too long when I'm preaching the gospel to unbelievers when we are doing house to house. I have like a small uh, system I use. Just three, four scriptures. Not too many, just three, four. They're enough. Uh, the first one I usually begin with is that for all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. And then I ask, do you believe you're a sinner? And everyone that asks would say, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> you know, you don't need to convince people. Everyone knows that we have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So the difference between us and the people of the world is that we have received forgiveness of sin through the cross of Jesus Christ. Oh, Paul is under Sunday school. Please, Samahani, to go to Nwasao, Lakini, thank you for the reminder. Please go to your classes and the Lord be with you and bless you as you get taught scriptures. I wish I was taught scriptures at your age before I discovered there was some liquid from Roraka. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Is that we have received forgiveness of sin. What is the importance of that? You know, sin is what separates God and man. It is a barrier between God and man. Indeed, Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 says, The Lord's hand is not too short that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear us, but our sins have separated us from our God. Now, when we receive forgiveness of sin, there is first and foremost peace between us and God. There is peace. That wall of animosity, that partition of sin is removed. And now there is peace between us and God. And that's why the, bold, the Bible says, by the blood of Jesus, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. Anytime we can walk boldly before the throne of grace. Why? There is peace between God and us through the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. What a joy it is that I don't need anybody to come between me and God. In the Old Testament, you needed those priests to come and intercede for you. But right now, every one of us, if you are saved, you can come boldly before the throne of grace and bring your needs and your intercessions before the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is peace between Peter, Musao, Mweti, and God. Hallelujah. I tell you, that, that, that means a lot to me. Because we have that peace with God, it means we can also enjoy fellowship with God. We can enjoy fellowship with God. Uh, you know, fellowship is an interesting thing. It has different levels. There are some people you, you fellowship with deeply and some people you have little fellowship with. Tuko pamoja? Wana say sana. Now I'm determined to enjoy a good and deep fellowship with God. You know, many of us are concerned about answers to prayer. But I tell you, as you walk closely with God, God takes care of some things you even never remember to pray for yourself. I'm telling you. And that's why Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall follow you. There are things you are not aware about, but as you walk with God, as you fellowship with God, God takes care of them. Amen. 
Piki ya Yesu makofi jamani. Amen. There are times I have not been able to quite decide what direction to take. In fact, right now, as I'm preaching to you, there is something that is bothering me. And I'm not quite decided what decision to take. I've talked to a few friends of mine, and every one of them has a good but differing opinion. Hallelujah. Buona <laughs> Shesana. So, <laughs> I like my friends. It's good to hear opinions. And I've not made up my mind because I can't, I can't apply enough logic to myself. So, I'm calling God. Do I turn to the left or do I turn to the right? And that is possible to talk to God that way when you are in good fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Brother, sister, the day that you will find that you have no hunger for coming to church services and fellowships, something is eating away at that peace and fellowship you have with God. Bwana Shesana. Siku utajisikia hauna ule upendo, hauna ile shauku ya kuja kwa ibada na kwa ushirika wa watu wa Mungu kuna mahali pameanza kuingia dosa dosari praise the lord may god help us to love god to fellowship with god and to enjoy that peace we have with god amen oh we bless the lord pigia yesu makofi jamani you know i thank god that many of you did not go through some of the things we've gone to th through. I'm coming to point number two. That the other benefit of the cross is that you and I have been delivered from the power of the devil. We have been delivered from the power of darkness. Bwana Shesana. Shall we open our Bibles to Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Colossians 1 13 says, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. Shall we also open 1st John? 1st John chapter 3 and verse 8. 1st John 3 8. 1st John 3 8. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. The last part of that verse. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Not only have we been forgiven of our sins, but before coming to Christ, we were in bondage we were in bondage to Satan, to the powers of darkness. Tulikuwa ni watumwa. And I would like to tell you that a slave does not have a mind of his own. Hello? Hello? Hi. Pengine kuna wale walipitia pale nitapitia as I talk, you might get to know what I'm saying. Now, one of the things that had really destroyed my life was the tobacco habit. I really used to smoke. I, 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 I got to start smoking at Form 1. Before Form 1, I was a very good boy. In fact, as I walked, you'd see a halo around my head. I was such a saint. Buona sesana. Good boy. Until I went to Form 1. And in Form 1, I met crooks from other places. And they taught me to smoke. 
At first it was just a joke. Unavutavuta, unakohoa, kohoa. But once I got hooked, getting unhooked <laughs> was a problem. And you can imagine in school and you are a tobacco addict. So you know where your pocket money goes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, when, I, when, I <laughs> when I got employed, the tab tobacco habit became even stronger. Uh, I remember we would do shopping for Mama Mweti, and after her shopping, I would go to a tobacco shop. So I would buy those packets which are bound in tens, eh? Zile pakiti za kumi kumi. Unaito bumba, eh? <laughs> so I would buy about four or five, because I used to smoke about 30 to 40 cigarettes per day. One and a half to about two packets per day. And I did not use, you know, this steamship uh, uh, matches because sometimes the matches would be wet and they won't strike, especially when you really want. So I had two gas lighters, one on the left pocket, the other right one. And I had a gas refiller in my, you know, they're still in my box. Every time, once in a while, I look at them, I say, Asante, yes. <laughs> I've never given them away. They are still there, two of them, two gas lighters. Every time I look at them, I remember, Amen. And uh, <clears throat> then, of course, Fridays. Fridays, for those who don't know Jesus, can be terrible days. Hallelujah. Fridays are terrible days. Because phone calls come at around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Hey, I say, Mwetu Kwapi. Leo Sangapi, Pab. Saffron. And you know, we, we all knew the places we meet, either in a pub, I'm a Starlight, I'm a Hallian's nightclub, I'm a Pako Mangelepa. So, you know, there's something I'm trying to put across to you. When that power of darkness is upon you, you are a slave. There is no way Utasema Apana. Even when you are broke, no me bakisha mia, utaenda kukunywa. You're still going to pay. And I remember I would drink all my money and it's finished. So I come to Mama Mweti. I tell her, can I have my money? And she says, but we agreed this is for shopping. Let her bring my money. <laughs> I, I tell you, I thank God for Mama Mweti. Kama ni wengine wangelikuwa maniwacha kitambo na ningili waelewa. But uh, thank God for this beauty. Hallelujah. Aline <laughs> Now, you take the money that you should have done shopping. I mean, you should have uh, bought your household items with. So what happens? You begin to borrow. And you become, you enter into a vicious circle. You pay, you spend, and you borrow. You, <laughs> you spend, or not spend, you drink, <laughs> you borrow, <laughs> then you pay. Then you drink, and then you pay, and then you borrow. It's a vicious circle that some people have never been gotten out of. In fact, some people have even drunk their children's school fees. Thank God, see what I up before Jesus came to the rescue. You understand me. Buona <laughs> Sin and Satan binds us, not with the visible chains. There are invisible chains that bind us to habits, some of which I will not mention here. They bind us to habits which makes us slaves. And only the cross of Jesus Christ can set us free. I thank God that the power of sin was broken in my life. And I was set free. You know, I, I got prayed for in an evening fellowship. I've told you this a thousand times. I had gone to that fellowship not because I wanted to go, but a friend of mine kept insisting that I should go to that uh, fellowship. It was Ngara Fellowship. So I decided to make what is called a technical appearance. Just go and then leave. And then if he asked me, did you go? I tell him, yes, I went, and it was very boring. So I didn't, I'll not go again. That's what I decided. I decided, 
because he's pressing me so much and he's a friend of mine, I'll make a technical appearance. I'll go for five, maximum 10 minutes. Then I will leave. And the following day, because I knew he'd asked me at Anusa, did you go to that fellowship? I'll tell him, yes, I did. But I didn't like the sound of drums and whatever. It was very boring. Uh, I, 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 I will not go there again. How I got squeezed to the corner, I don't know. You know, I was seated near the door so that I can make my exit very easy. But somehow I found myself squeezed at the corner of the, of, of the, of the, of the, 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 the sitting room where we, the, the, the fellowship was going on. And as the preaching was going on, there was a conviction in my heart, a deep conviction that I had deliberately stayed away from God and was a bad sinner. In fact, in my pocket, palikwana to cigara, you know? <laughs> and and uh, even before they finished preaching, I lifted up my hand. You know, when the preacher is preaching, people don't lift up their hands. But I didn't know the protocol in church services, so I just lifted my hand. I want to get saved. And they just laughed and said, Ngoja, ngoja to kwanza. And I was prayed for. They crushed my cigarettes. And I went to my room. Nilikuwa na car opposite Shan Cinema. 786. Nilikuwa na car poju. So when I got to my room, I found that one of my relatives working with the military, with Kenya Army, he knew my brand of cigarettes. Nilikuwa na smoke senate. So he had brought me a whole packet as a gift. <laughs> no, the devil knows how to tie him. <laughs> as a gift to me. So and then the neighbors told me, ah, there's a person who insisted that we remember his name. He's called so and so and he said, uh, he was coming to see you, he didn't find you, but he's brought you this gift. Then he me fungo vizuri sana a Christmas gift. Kupasua naona ni bumba ya senate. Na zangu zimekua crushed just five minutes ago. <laughs> for those, for those who may have had or been slaves to the tobacco habit, you know what happens when you eat. After eating the first thing you crave for, ni kamoja kakuteremcha nini? So I said, <laughs> so I said, Lord, Kamoja kaku close your cha chapter. So I removed one, put it on my lips. But before I struck the gas lighter, just a soft voice spoke to my heart. Umeokoka, umetolewa kwa hiyo. You know, now it was a real fight. You know, sometimes we preach in a wrong manner to sinners. Yakomba ukiokoka mamboyo tinakuwa sa? Haikuwa gisawa, I was fighting. Because hapa kiu inaniambia kamoja. But kwa roho unambio umeoko, umeokoka. So I struggled. Remember I'm alone. That, that time we had built our house in the countryside and Mama Mweti and our firstborn was, was at home. So in the kuapa alone. So I opened the window and threw it out. Now the others who have Wale wame smoke, unajua, ukienda kulala uzingizi ukataa kukuja. Mbaka upige kamoja pole pole ndiyo. Eh, yani, eh, <laughs> especially ukiweka mziki, unasikia sundowna hivi, una lafu, una I, I just wouldn't get sleep. So I put another one here. But just before I struck, <laughs> nekaambiwa, sinili kuambia umeokoka. Don't smoke. And I told God, my heart is willing to live, to live the Christian life. But this craving is killing me. And I took it and threw it out. Do you know, in about two minutes, I got to be sleepy. I, I just slept. I woke up at night with a lot of peace and I was laughing like a fool. I didn't know what I was laughing at. And, and I felt for three days... I was struggling with that craving for cigarettes. It was even worse when in the office some of my smoking friends wanapita. Then they kuapa too casually. 
hiyo moshi usikio nasikia unakamu utamwambia i say njoro ebunjo <laughs> that smoke is deadly and then on the weekend you are innocently passing by alafu unapitia karibu na pub na jamaa ameteremsha mapovu iko hapa anafanya You know, I'm telling you this because it looks like it's easy to get saved. Kuokoka is not natural. It is super natural. Ispokuwa ni Mungu anatushikilia, we would go back from where we came from. But I thank God the power of sin was broken in my life. Amen. Nowadays when I feel somebody smoking, the smell offends me, even the smell of alcohol. Na stories, I'm Levi Mew Hepa. I don't like, they have endless stories, you know? They can speak the whole night. I, I, I don't like the smell, I don't like the story. Hello? The cross of Jesus broke the power of sin, the power of darkness over my life. I am no longer a slave to sin. Pigia yes to my coffee, Jama. Amen. Now, there's something much more than that. And that is in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. I don't want you to give, to give you the impression we are going to cover all of them. We are just covering four. We've covered two. We shall cover two more. But there is a multitude of benefits of the cross. But I just want to discuss this, this, this four. Shall we open Galatians? <clears throat> Galatians. Chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. And brethren, praise the Lord, brethren. Wapendo bwana shesana. Praise the Lord. Pale nyuma bwana shesana. I am requesting every member of this church. This is a special request. Hello? I am requesting every member of this church to remember this scripture. Remember it. I implore you, remember this scripture. I want you to remember this scripture. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. Because there is a wrong doctrine that is going on. And it can disturb you. Remember this scripture. Remember this scripture. Rememorize it. It will help you. Because scripture is a help in time of trouble. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hello? Praise the Lord, brethren. What has Christ done for us? Christ has redeemed us. From what? The curse. From? Aye. And that's why I started with Haraka. This point I want you to get. Nisikizeni vizuri because this is something in a bodawatu. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. From the curse. What curse? The curse of the law. How wakusikia, wacha nijaribu upande huu, they might be more receptive. Pamoja na kwaya. Na niwaangalia niwane kama mnasikiza ama mtikizi. I point ikingia na juwaga. Na kama ingina wana vile na bounce. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Christo ametukomboa na la? Na laana. Kama ametukomboa, inaonekana tulikuwa ndani ya la? Is that okay? Now, brethren, there are things you called generational curses. They flow from the great grandfather to the grandfather to the father to the son to the grandson, and so on. There is a kitu nangalia unaona kina flow. 
I've told you before, there are things I will tell you about my life. Even if they embarrass me, I tell you to help you. I tell you at the cost of my own pride. Bwana sisana. Kuna kitu kimekula nyumba ya mweti. Vitu vingapi? Viwili. We have been victims of alcohol and immorality. Those two. Kwetu hakuna wezi. There are no thieves in Mweti's home. But we are immoral and we are drunkards. Vitu viwili vimetu sumua. And those of my people I have buried, it has been from those two things. Either immorality or drunkenness. Or a combination of both. But those have been the two. I never saw my father as such, but there is a name he was called, a nickname. Alikuwa na ito Mukembi. Mukembi was not his name. His actual name is Mweti. Mukembi ni mtu ana anateremsha sawa sawa. It's a nickname for eh, jamaa wa kuterem anakiu. Kikamba ile proper ni mudhengi. Ukiitwa mudhengi <laughs> Unavenga kweli kweli bwana asiye sana Ma, my father ni wale wazee ambao you know those days they didn't have bars wazee walikuwa wanatengeneza pombe and they would stay there mpaka hizo vibui zote zi ziishe and uh, my father was a bit popular in those areas i was surprised when i went to to ask for mama mweti's hand and her mother asked me who i was when i told her about mweti said you mean you are so-and-so own brother? Yes. Ah, your father used to graze his cattle around here. Everybody knows your father. Bwana shesana. Ni wale wazee wanajuana maana wanakemba pamo? Pamoja. So, ikaenda kwa my brothers and sisters, all of us, kila mmoja wetu, watoto wa mweti, tumekunywa. Mimi, ndugu zangu, dada zangu, hakuna hakunywi. Na sio kunywa ile, ni kukunywa. Tukiamua kunywa ni kukunywa. Unajua unakunywa yani ndani na nje. <laughs> when I say drinking, I'm not saying sipping. I'm saying drinking. Unakunywa. Bwana shesana. And then, of course, immorality ran deeply in our family. And I've buried some of my brothers and sisters due to AIDS and others due to liver cirrhosis. Now we're in a combination of both. What saved me from being six feet under is that in 1982, I got saved. I got saved. So this year, I'm celebrating 40 years since I got saved. 40 years. Recently, a friend of mine was calling me, a former schoolmate was calling me, and asked him, hey, where is Musembi? Who kuskia? Alikufa. What about Nani? Who kuskia? Alikufa. What do you mean? Najee flani? Atayei alikufa. Yani utasikia taflani mefukufa? You know, the list of dead people was so large. Na unasikia pombe na vitu kama hizo. And I looked back and said, Yani, I'm taking for granted I'm alive. Most of my former schoolmates are dead. They got good jobs and they drank themselves to death. Others car accidents. But in 1982, God saved me. Come as your hero wakovu, I don't think 1990 ingelipata nikiwa uhai. Because around that time, njo ukimu iliingia hapa Kenya. I thank God that I got saved. Now, hiyo ndio inaitwa laana. You can see a family lineage. Unaangalia unaona ulevi ilianzia huko before na inaku na kuja. 
Usharati ilianzia kule. There are some people ukiangalia kwao unakuta kila wakati hakuna wasichana wao wanaolewa. You know? Na wana watoto. It, it, is, it is something you can't understand. Huyu alipata mamimba na meletea watoto shushu na hao wakafuata hao na hao wakafu. You know it is a lineage. There are some people ambao unakuta kila saa akipata mimba inamwagika kila saa akipata mimba inamwagika kila saa akipata mimba inamwagika and it's like the family i know of one where i looked and said there must be a curse here because the mother nilimsikia with my own ears wakitukanana na binti yake matusi ilifanya nitoroke because unasikia inakuchafua mat Tusi mbaya mtoto anatoa scad unafikiri mama atashangaa mama anatoa ile deadly zaidi you know i looked at it then i analyzed first born ni kreki third born kreki fourth born kreki the whole list only two or three are of sound mind all the rest ma kreki See, something is not right here. Something, of course, scientists will explain it. Is in the genetics, blah, blah, blah. I can also explain it. Hapa, kuna lana. And I can confirm that from Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bwana Brethren. Brethren. Nisikizeni. Hata wewe ulikuwa chini ya laana ya jamii yenu. But something happened. When we came to the cross of Jesus Christ, there is a benefit we received. That Christ took our curses and nailed them on his cross and set us free. We have been redeemed from that curse. Hallelujah. Pigia Yesu makofi. The Bible says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Why do I say that? Because if you don't know that, the curse will still continue in your lineage. That's why I said, remember this verse. Remember what is how. If you don't know the truth, the devil will push the lie into you. Why is it important? Because the Bible says, as you have believed, so shall it be. I believe I'm blessed. Because the curses over me were taken by Christ on the cross. Mimi niko huru. Sina lana. Na mtu wa siniambini melani. I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. Kwangu wakuna ulevi. Atuvuti sigara. Tumeokoka, tunampenda mungu, tunamuishia mungu. Hallelujah. 2018, I was admitted at Coptic Hospital. I couldn't breathe. And uh, I went with the reports that I had had from other hospitals. And the doctor there, there took my, my documents, put them in a brown envelope, and told me, we don't use other people's reports we use ours here so anzia pale so nilipoenda wakanyanga wakanyanzisha na ukimu imagine and i'm a pastor they, they should know i'm a very holy man of god <laughs> imagine the first test was ukimu <laughs> so tukaendelea and they did a lot of tests i thank god they were very thorough very very thorough it cost me money but they were very thorough and the doctor said Mr. Mweti, I would like to ask you one question. Did you ever smoke as a young man? I said very heavily. Akasema, you are paying <laughs> for the sins of your youth. Akasema, your heart is okay. This report is wrong. Your heart is okay. Your kidneys are okay. Your liver is okay. But your lungs. Hauna mapafu. Take care of your lungs. 
because your lungs are gone. That is your weak point. Kaambia asante daktari. Na kaniambia you will be coming here every month for clinic. Nikaambia asante daktari. But in my heart I said never. Clinic yangu iko wapi? Iko mbinguni. Na kutoka siku hiyo sijapigwa shindano ya kifua na sijalala tena. <laughs> yes. Nilisema Mungu amenitosha. Now, don't predict my death. I told you I am rapture material. Praise the Lord. So, if you are a carpenter, don't look at my coffin size. Me, 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 niko. Praise the Lord. Now, why do I emphasize this? Because several times, nimesikia watu wakija kwa ofisi yangu na kuniambia, I think I'm cast, pastor. And I usually stop them there na muambia, Usiendele. Umeokoka ama haujaokoka? Nimeokoka. How can you be saved? And the Bible says Christ took your curses and you are saying that you are cursed. How? You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And the truth we know is that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, he did not just remove the curse and stop there. No, no. He went further. After removing the curse, what did he do? That we may enjoy the blessing of God. Ah, Pika Yesu Makovi Jaman. Yes. The curse has been removed and the blessing has come in. Out comes darkness and in comes light. Gone is the curse. In comes the blessing. Hallelujah. I am a blessed man, whether you believe it or not. Hallelujah. And by the way, I'm a candidate for heaven. Hallelujah. I am a blessed man. Amen. And my children are also blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, the children of the righteous are blessed. Watch an equambi. For those who came from Christian homes, you are a blessed person. You are a blessed person. Some things I will repeat again and again and again. And it's, it, 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 I told you that if I were to open my shirt, you'd see where the razor over which doctor has passed through. If I had gone through a Christian family, that would not have happened. See what I'm talking about? For those who who got into Christian families, kutoka age one, umekua dedicated, umekulia Sunday school, you are a privileged person. Yeah. Amen. And that's why I'm saying my children are blessed. Kana chomoka hivi kwa mama mweti, tunakaleta kanisani. Dedicate this one. Yes. Kana chomoka kengine, dedicate this one. Yes. Hata wakienda wapi. Mungu atawarudisha kwa msalaba. Hata wakistrain namna gani? Mungu atawarudisha wapi? Because I cannot be a watchman over them all the time. But because we dedicated them, God will be a watchman over them. Ah, pigia Yesu makofi. Nisiwa hisikia mtu wa Deliverance Church bulbul akiniambia melaaniwa. Nisije nikakulaani, ndio sasa ulaaniwa vizuri. <laughs> How can you say you are cut? Sio ni kusema kazi ya Yesu Kristo msalabani it is null and void. You are not cursed, you are blessed. So what am I saying? If you see that pattern in your family na umeanza kuona ikitugusa, it is time you spoke to God by quoting that scripture. Na kumwambia Mungu hii kitu tunaikatia hapa like I did about my family Nilisema, hii kitu ya mbari ya mweti inaishia wapi? Hapa. No smokers or drunkards in my house. Kata yo kitu. Amen. Some things we have to take action. Aye. The kingdom of God is taken by there. Na si hii violence nile ya spiritual. Apigia ni yes makofi. And then finally, Finally, John 3, 16. 
John 3.16. John 3.16. Now, same when I do by heart, stack you near by heart. John 3.16. Ukataka kufungua mimi na kuona kuona. Fungua John 3:16. That's why you carry the Bible. Shall we all read it? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have but have but have Shall we open chapter 10 verse 10? John 10:10 10, 10. John 10:10 10, 10. John 10:10 10, 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Shall we read all together the other part? I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Christ came so that we may have life in abundance. In fact, that we may have eternal life. Praise the Lord, brethren. As I stand here now, right now, at this moment, I possess eternal life. I want to correct you. I will not be given eternal life. I have eternal life. I want to repeat again. Sia kwamba nitapewa uzima wa milele. Nina uzima wa milele. Right now, I have eternal life. How do I know? Because the Bible tells me so. And that's enough for me. Now, there are people here, when I speak that way, there is a voice of disquiet and doubt in the heart. There is that voice that says, if I have eternal life, how come I didn't have supper last night? How come I'm struggling with my rent? How come I've been praying for a job and I still don't have a job? You are using the wrong parameter to measure. You are using the wrong parameter. If you were today to think about those people starving in Northeastern. Wale waliangalia NTV jana ni wangapi? Seeing those kids struggling to eat roots and whatever. Umekunywa turungi ni kweli. Hapa hakuna mtu naona mestav. In fact, some of you need to do some exercise. You have overeaten. Bana shesana. Tanua tracksuit. Niki kupatia unajua what I'm telling you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do you know that all of us here, hakuna mtu melela kwa mitaro. We came from a house somewhere. And no one here is naked. All of us are clothed. Na hata kama hau have in quotes a proper breakfast. At least kikombe aturungi umeonja. God has taken care of you. And this is a day for us to be gratitude, to have gratitude. We have life right now, right now. Nikao, nikaulizwa mweti. Je, ungelipenda nikurudishe ile maisha ya awali? Shall I return you to your former life with all the money you need? Or will you stay in this current life with the difficulties you have? Mimi nitakwambia bila ku hesitate I would rather be what I am now with nothing than the former life I had with everything. This is a better life. 
mimi si amki na majuto lakini wakati nilikuwa mlevi nilikuwa naamka na majuto unakumbuka mtu litukana in your drunkenness jamaa ulitwanga ukiwa drunk but nikiwa nikiamka ninaamka without any guilt in my heart nimeamka salama the only quarrel i have is my tea is ready mama mwete jarakisha that's the only quarrel bwana asante sana but ninaamka nikiwa sala salama sijaamka kwa mtaro nimebebwa na wilbaru na mama mwete i have no i have no regrets I'm okay. And not only that, I have hope beyond the grave. Mimi najua hata even if I was to die, it is just a change of environment. I am coming out from this body as Paul said, to be absent from this body is to be present with who? With Christ immediately. To be absent here is to be present with Christ. To be absent from this is to be present. We are greatly privileged, brethren. To na, we are greatly privileged, brethren. This is a day not to pray for our needs, but to thank God. To thank God. Mimi ninapona ile mtaro mungu alinitoa, my heart is full of gratitude. Asante mungu. Because now I would be six foot under, but I'm still breathing. Daktari alikuwa ananiambia kifua imeenda I'm still breathing I'm still breathing It is a day to thank God Na mimi ninajua whether I'm raptured ama mtanipeleka langata By the way in case I'm not raptured my first choice ni langata Kuna watu wajatoa tithe huko nitakuwa nitawaitisha tithe nikiwa kaburini wewe hujatoa letter <laughs> Please the Lord my, That's my first choice second choice ni hapa bulbul na third choice msiniweke kwa plot yangu plot yangu ni kuweka tu nyumba tumabati when i'm gone so <laughs> unajua ubaya wenu <laughs> mna uzuri mwingi lakini ubaya wenu <laughs> anyway tusimame wapendwa let's stand up brethren let's stand up brethren hallelujah i'd like to request us not to pray, but to have a good time to thank God. I would like you to just thank God that you are saved, that your sins are forgiven. God has completely forgiven you. There is no condemnation over you. Nobody can condemn you because the Bible says, when God justi has justified you, who can condemn you? Kama mungu wa mekuesabu mwenye haki, nani atakuhukumu? Nobody. Because the person who should be condemning you has justified you. Amen. We thank God. I thank God for life, that I'm alive. I'm breathing. I've eaten. I'm clothed. I have a place to sleep. I have a wife. I have children. I have a job. I have a lot to thank God for. Shall we open our mouth and just thank God? Thank God for your salvation. Thank God for your family. Thank God. Hata kama umepitia magumu. Hata kama your house is broken. Wewe shukuru Mungu. Ya kwamba hata kama huyo mama amekuacha, wewe bado hujawacha Yesu, bado uko na Yesu. Hallelujah. It's time to thank God for the cross. We have benefited tremendously from the cross of Jesus Christ. It's a time to thank God for all that he has done for us. God has done so much for us. We should open our mouth and just bless the Lord. Bless God for life, for just being alive. Thank God. He's kept you alive. Umekula, umeshiba, you have clothes. Thank God. There are those who are walking naked. You have a place to sleep. Thank God that he has given you an abode. It's a time to be gratitude for that cross of Jesus Christ. That we, can, we have friends. All of you are my friends because of the cross of Jesus Christ. Tumeletwa pamoja hapa na msalaba wa Yesu. It is because Jesus has forgiven us that we can meet together as brethren, as children of one father. We are friends. We fellowship together. We love one another. Tunasaidiana because we are children of one family. God has bound us together. We have reason to thank God that we can bless one another. We are children of one father. We should thank God. Thank God. It is broken. You come from a broken family. Yours will not be broken. 
God is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Thank God. Thank God. Shukuru Mungu. It's a time to be grateful to God for every small benefit. Mtoto mepita yuko shule. Shukuru Mungu. Shukuru Mungu. Your father is still alive. Shukuru Mungu. Umegawiwa kashamba. Shukuru Mungu. Unakaploti umenunua. Shukuru Mungu. Kuna kamjenga unajenga. Shukuru Mungu. Una biashara unafanya. Shukuru Mungu. Thank God. It's a time to be grateful to God. Not to pray, but to just thank God for the cross of Jesus Christ. Through that cross, we have enjoyed so many benefits. Thank God that you are healthy. You are not in hospital right now. Thank God. Thank God. He has taken care of you. We thank you for your goodness to us, Lord. Oh, we thank you for that cross. Oh, we thank you for the death of Jesus Christ on that cross. We thank you, Jesus, for the benefits that we enjoy from you. We are alive. We have hope of eternal life. We eat. We sleep through Christ. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Our time is gone, and we still have to enjoy Holy Communion. So, we are going to take a few minutes to pray to God. The Bible says that before we take the Holy Communion, we should search our hearts. We should search our hearts. Kama kuna kitu kinaeza kutuzuia kula Holy Communion. If you are angry with somebody, if somebody has shortchanged you, pray for forgiveness. Forgive that person so that we can take Holy Communion together. I have noticed in this church that when we want to take Holy Communion, some people just decide to leave. There's a benefit in taking the Holy Communion, brethren. Buona Susana. It is a commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, do this often in remembrance of me. As we participate in that Holy Communion, we are remembering what Christ has done for us on the cross. Kama umeokoka, hata kama umeokoka five minutes ago, you can participate in the Holy Communion. Hakuna kitu ya kukuzuia. Hile kinaeza kukuzuia is when you know in your heart that there is something drastically wrong that has broken relationship between you and God. Kama nimelala lodging Siku staili kulala kwa hiyo lodging, keep away from the Holy Communion. Kama umepiga bibi yako mangumi za tumbu, baka haya zikupumua, don't take the Holy Communion. You know, unajua kuna watu nachapa mama tumbu mbaka manaki ayonekani, mama haya zikute. <laughs> Waze, bwana shosan. I mean, this, those are the things I'm talking about. But if it's just other things, just tell God. I want us to take a few minutes just to tell God, Mungu hapa kuna shida, naomba msamaha, or give me, let's put things right with God. But just before we pray, individually, and ask God for forgiveness, is there anyone here who has never received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? This would be a wonderful time for us to pray for you, to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Kuna mtu yote yuko hapa, angelipenda tuombe pamoja ahokoke. Kunayote, don't be ashamed. Jesus loves you. That's why he died on the cross for you. Are you here? You'd like us to pray with you to get saved. Anybody? Is there anybody? You're here. You're not saved. Do you have anyone? We are all saved. Shall we just take one minute? Just go before the Lord and pray for the cleansing of the blood of Jesus upon you. If you have wronged God, tell him just forgive you. The Bible says that God is faithful if we confess our sins. He is just to forgive us. Just go before the Lord. Pray for forgiveness. Put things right between you and God as we continue. Father.
Lord, we come before you remembering the promise of Scripture that if we confess our sins, that you are just to forgive us and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. We pray for the cleansing of the blood of Jesus upon our souls, but even as we participate in the Holy Communion, our worship will be acceptable before you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we take our seats and I will ask the praise and worship team to give us worship choruses as the church pastors and our wives uh, help in distributing the bread. Once you receive the bread, just hold the bread and hold the cup and then we shall participate together. We shall do it quickly so that we can maintain time.
so that you can be served. Is there anyone who would want bread? Is there anyone who would want the cup? cup. Somebody there needs the cup. Do you have bread? Bread and cup, please. There, there's somebody there. Just behind the, the, the media table. There's... Is there anyone else who would want the cup or bread? <clears throat> Shall we all stand, please? Stand, all of us, please stand. We are going to read from Matthew 26, verse 26. And once we have participated in the Holy Communion, we are just going to worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord, his greatness, his goodness to us. Just worship the Lord. Matthew 26 from verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Shall we all participate in the bread? Verse 27. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Shall we participate of the cup, which is the blood of Jesus of the new covenant? We are children of the new covenant written by the blood of Jesus Christ. Just lift up your heart and your hands to the Lord and worship the Lord for his goodness to us. Father, we worship you. We magnify your holy name. We confess there is no God but you. You reign in heavens above and on earth below. We worship you, Father, for you are our God, our Savior, our Lord and our King. Yes, Jesus Christ, the high priest of our confession. We lift up our hearts to you to say thank you for dying on the cross for us. By that cross, by that blood, our sins have been forgiven. We have now been called the children of God. We worship you, Father. We were not a people, but now in Christ Jesus, we are the people of God. We are the children of God. We worship you, Father. Be glorified, be magnified. Be exalted in this congregation. Be exalted in our hearts. Be exalted in our lives, O oh God. Our Lord and our Savior. Our God and our King. We worship you, Father. Be magnified, be exalted, O oh God. Asante mwenyezi mungu. 
Lord, this morning we want to thank you once again for the death of Christ on the cross. John confessed and said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. We want to thank you that through that Calvary's cross, our sins have been blotted out. The curse that was upon us has been removed. We are now the children of God, the people of God. We thank you that we have eternal life through that cross. The curse is taken away. Oh yes, we thank you that the power of sin, the power of Satan is broken from our lives. We are now free to serve God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Please pass on the cups as the leader.